This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, Heron's Tree Service, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. You have made it to your Friday. We'd like to tell you about Customer Appreciation Day coming up with Alpha Insurance and your local Alpha Insurance agent, Jamie Dukas. It'll be held on Friday, October 6th from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m., at Jamie's office, 52 Plaza Lane in Oxford, Alabama. Lots of great food and giveaways. You can win some really good prizes, enjoy some fantastic food. And uh, if you're not already uh, a customer, it'd be a good time to stop by and talk to Jamie because he can show you in a matter of minutes exactly how much Alpha Insurance can save you. Again, mark your calendars. That is Friday, October 6th from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. 52 Plaza Lane, Oxford, Alabama. Scan that QR code you see there on the screen. You can click the link at the top of the video or call Jamie at 256-831-7770 to find out how much money Jamie can save you with Alpha Insurance. Also, be sure you head over to our YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button and the little bell so that when we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that notification. Not going to be a problem today. We're going to have another gorgeous early fall day across East Alabama and West Georgia. I mean, the weather uh, it's just been absolutely beautiful this week. I love these cool mornings and warm afternoons, brilliant cobalt blue skies. It's just been gorgeous. And today, well, no exception. We'll be gorgeous again today. Beautiful weather for high school football tonight. As a matter of fact, we've got a very nice weather weekend on the way for you for all of East Alabama and West Georgia. Saturday, we are high and dry. And then even out there on Sunday, we look good. Now, we could see a few clouds creeping into the forecast Sunday afternoon, uh, but I think we stay dry. Our next chance of rain won't happen until the first part of next week, and even then, it is not going to be uh, a very large chance. We'll show you that in just a few moments. Let's talk tropics because we do have a little something-something out there this morning. Off the Atlantic coast, we have a potential tropical storm number 16. Uh, and right now, 16 is gaining strength, and uh, we think it's probably going to make it to tropical storm status and then uh, move north. We're also watching another hatched area of concern off the African coast. This is in the southern Atlantic tropics, and that is going to move toward the United States as well. Most of the models turn it back north also. That's been the MO this year. Uh, but there are a handful of uh, models that bring it into the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll, we'll have to watch this real close over the next several days. Let's see if we can take you over here to our next graphic. There it is. This is potential tropical cyclone 16. Uh, there's the current track as of 5 a.m. this morning. And by about um, 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon, we believe that this will be making landfall somewhere around Jacksonville, North Carolina. And then it will move up to the north uh, very close to Havelock, North Carolina by 2 a.m. Sunday morning and then up into the Virginias. Uh, so it's going to um, be a pretty wet Saturday night into Sunday for coastal South Carolina and North Carolina. Uh, very strong surf, uh, lots of thunder and lightning and heavy rainfall, uh, gusty winds, but we should stay below tropical storm status. So winds could be as high as 39 miles per hour there along coastal, basically coastal North Carolina, uh, though the weather won't be that great across South Carolina either. 
uh, over the weekend. But, uh, hey, that's going to help keep us beautiful here across East Alabama and West Georgia. We'll have a little better idea on all of this tomorrow morning. Uh, But, again, I want you to understand this is not going to affect our weather across East Alabama or West Georgia. Beautiful start to your Friday. It is 63 degrees outside at the venue at Five Points Farms in Five Points, Alabama. Mostly clear, wind out of the northeast at 2, gusting to 4. Humidity is 92%. Barometric pressure 30.13. 61 degree dew point, no rain the past 24 hours. High temperature yesterday was 81. Sunrise this morning at 628, sunsets this evening at 639 p.m. And we are headed for 82 this afternoon in Roanoke, 82 in Ashland, Lineville, capital city of Randolph County, 81 in the sunshine this afternoon, 80 up in Ranburn, Carrollton will make it to 80 and will top out at 83 down in Lafayette this afternoon. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Mostly sunny, 81 to 82, depending on where you are this afternoon. Down to 57 this evening, beautiful high school forecast. I've got that for you in just a moment. On Saturday and Sunday, look at that. Mostly sunny both days, 83 Saturday, 84 on Sunday. Our next chance of rain will move in as we start your next work week, though it won't be a very big chance. We're looking at a 20% chance of a scattered shower Monday afternoon, 20% chance of rain Monday night. Then on Tuesday, we'll bump that up to about 30% chance of showers both on Tuesday and and Wednesday. Look at the high temperature next Wednesday. 79. That's it. (laughs) I love it. All right, let's take a look uh, now at your Southern Union um, State Community College Live Doppler HD radar, and we're showing uh, maybe a little bitty shower down around Lynette uh, Valley moving across I-85, and that's coming back in from the east moving west. Uh, So there could be a spitter spatter of rain here and there on your windshield. But, yeah, that's not a big deal. And as soon as the sun comes up, that should all uh, burn off. As we zoom out and take a look at the southeastern United States, you can see a big rain complex up there just to the east of Oklahoma City, moving into Arkansas, southern Missouri. Uh, That's going to stay to the uh, west of us today. And then over in the Atlantic, you can see our, our potential tropical storm Uh, We have here, this is 16, and uh, you can see where it's at now and where it's going to go. They think it'll take this track right into North Carolina. Again, very close to Jacksonville, North Carolina, maybe Beaufort, uh, right there out on the Outer Banks uh, of North Carolina by early uh, or late Sunday, uh, Saturday afternoon into uh, Saturday night and then continue on up just to the right of Greenville, North Carolina, and then end up uh, up here in the Virginias. But yeah, lots of rainfall up there, but that is going to stay well to the east and north of East Alabama and West Georgia, not anticipating any problems from that storm. Let's take a look at your high school football forecast for the Randolph County high school football teams. It'll be in action this evening. The Hanley Tigers will make the short trip over to Clay Central to take on the Vols and Lineville. Ranburn will be at Woodland uh, this evening. Raglan on the West Bank at Wadley. And Weaver will come a-calling on the Randolph County Tigers in Widawi. Partly cloudy skies for kickoff with a temperature of 73 degrees. It just does not get much better than that this time of year for high school football. So I think every you cannot use the weather as an excuse not to go to a ball game tonight uh, because it is going to be as good as it gets. Get out there and support your local high schools, folks. Even if you don't have a, a kid that's going to school, uh, you still need to go out there and support your football teams, your cheerleaders, your band. Uh, support your local athletes. Go to a high school football game in your area this evening. Then we're going to take a look at the college lineup for tomorrow. Auburn starts early out in College Station. That will be an 11 o'clock kick on ESPN with Texas A&M partly cloudy skies and 86 degrees at kickoff. 
Ole Miss uh, headed to Tuscaloosa tomorrow. That'll be a 2.30 p.m. start on CBS. Partly cloudy skies, 87 at the kick over in Tuscaloosa. Don't forget to follow us over on Twitter. It's at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com. That's our home on the World Wide Web. Text the word ALERT to 265-540-8664 so that you can receive all of your imported information from the Randolph County Emergency Management Agency from Randolph County's hyper reach all you have to do is text that word to that number and you are ready to go thank you to all those fine folks you see scrolling on the screen those are our partners Uh, they keep us going here on dr don's weather so be sure you support them they support us we support you that's how all of this works and if you own a business and would like to be a partner with us here on Dr. Don's Weather, all you have to do is send me a message on Messenger, and I can have you started by the time we do our Saturday morning forecast. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms, and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, Heron's Tree Service, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.